Hello and welcome back to the iBooks Author tutorial series. In this video we're going to take a closer look at the template chooser. When you first open iBooks Author you're taken to the template chooser screen where you can choose uh, from a selection of either pre-made or blank templates. Here you see the template chooser and on the top half of the chooser we're given an option of landscape with portrait with a handful of pre-made design templates as well as a blank template. In the bottom half of the chooser we have portrait only and there's a small handful of pre-made uh, design templates for portrait only and a blank template for portrait only. Um, at the bottom of the template chooser you have the option also to open any recent projects that you've started or you can open an existing file located on your computer. You can uh, increase the size of the templates by dragging this bar in the middle. And you can cancel the template chooser. And if you have a template selected, which uh, it will be highlighted in yellow, you can either click the choose button to select it or you can do a simple double click on the template. Let me show you some examples of what these different templates look like. So in the background here, I already have selected one of the pre-made designs for a, a landscape with portrait. And uh, when you choose this template, you're given uh, a pre-made chapter with a background image and um, a floating text box, as well as a section and a page, as you can see here in the sidebar. The uh, landscape with portrait allows you to create an iBook with um, uh, landscape and portrait mode, which you can switch between up here in the menu bar by clicking, right now we're in landscape. Um, I can create my iBook in landscape and then I can also create it in portrait. So when somebody views my iBook on an iPad, they can turn their iPad in either the landscape direction or the portrait direction to view the book differently. Now um, both views uh, are formatted differently and uh, we'll talk more about that in a later uh, video in this series. Um, next I have a blank template so if you wanted to start from scratch and create your own design you can choose the blank template and it looks like this. This is another landscape with portrait and I could switch between the two by clicking the orientation buttons at the top of the window here. And we also have a portrait only. Now in portrait only mode, uh, this is a pre-made design for portrait only. Uh, you, in portrait only mode, you can't switch the orientation because it's a template that is meant to be in portrait only. So if you wanted to make a traditional book, a traditional iBook, um, you could create it as a portrait only book and if somebody's viewing it on the iPad they could only view that book in portrait mode. If they turn their iPad um, into the landscape direction uh, there would be no option to view your book in landscape because again this is a portrait only template. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode in the iBooks Author tutorial series.